Hello and welcome back to episode 18. This is part 2 of episode 18. So, hello and welcome to episode 18, part 2 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial. So, just carrying on from where we left off in part 1 of episode 18, we was adding the components to this large cart. Okay, so we've created our yoke. We are now going to add all of the planks. I just dropped all of the planks that were necessary, so we shall continue on. I'm sorry that it has taken over two um, parts, but it's the nature of the beast, I'm afraid. It won't be a long, long part, um, because obviously we just need to finish assembling the components. I'm going to then go over as many things as I can think about which are very useful to know about large carts. Once I finish doing that, I will then check Wormpedia to make sure I have not missed out any really useful information, because Wormpedia, as you, you all know, is fantastic. It's a fantastic resource. I encourage you to always have it open when you're playing Worm because it's very easy to access from in-game whilst you're playing and it's very, very useful. Of course, if you want to watch me ramble on while you play, that is also fantastic. <laughs> you certainly will not hear me stopping you. Okay, we are getting there. We are demolishing through the components. It's not... Nine down to nine, so we're getting there. But this is going to make our lives so much easier. Wow, I'm going to get be able to go and mine a ton of iron ore and bring it back to my forge, smelt it down, and just then start thinking about all the wonderful items we can start making. Be nice as well once my queue tree is longer. Once I can queue five or six or seven items, then I can just click continue and it will go bam, 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 bam. And of course, by that time, I won't be failing nearly as much. You can see, though, I wasn't joking when I've been saying earlier in previous episodes about the failure rates. You keep failing because, you know, we need to get the skill up. Fine carpentry is a fine skill, but it's a difficult one. <laughs> just wait till we get to weaponsmithing. Just wait till we get to locksmithing. That's going to slap you down big time. Cool, wow. Still got three to go. But we're nearly there. And we're going to be rewarded with such a fantastic item. No more walking around. No more suffering with stamina problems. Because we'll be on the cart and it won't be using your stamina up. So we can travel everywhere and anywhere. Providing we put land bridges down. How fantastic is that? Okay, now we just need to add our yoke. Which is, of course, cedar wood. So let's continue. Notice the items do take damage, but it's not going to destroy that. It can take plenty of damage. Oh boy, look at this beauty I have just made. There we go. There is your beautiful large cart. Now this can carry loads for you. You can load it onto, uh, onto your boats when you go travelling, I believe. But it's storage. I mean... We're going to go through, we're going to start, not, ne not next episode, I needed a cart in order to make a guard tower. The next episode I'm going to try to make it the guard tower and that's going to be fantastic. Now though, for the large cart, number one, you can load it up with all your items. You can put items in here like barrels and chests and all sorts, um, which I will get to and show you because I'm just guessing with some of them. But the ones I use is small rafts. You're going to see, I'm going to load it up with small rafts and you're going to start seeing that I could level a mountain if I wish to, level hills. I'll be loading up so many dirt onto my poor little large um, cart, but it won't be the large cart which take, does all the work. 
it will be my fantastic balls and I'm not trying to be rude because you know better of that of me okay now here we go here's the first pro tip for your large car all right you will see Rainstone's got horses that's her preference she likes horses as we've already discussed I used to like using the uh, balls but there is the best ultimate animal to use for pulling your cart and your wagon I'm going to give you a moment to pause this if you want to think about what animal that is okay this is for those of you that have been playing for a long time let's see if you're right okay the best animal to use in my opinion through the experience of playing is the bison the bison are strong you don't go far okay here's a pro tip another pro tip for you don't think that because bulls and cows are weak and you can fight them and kill them you fight a bison you're dead they are tough animals okay so with the large car you will ideally attach two um, bison to your car they are is it bison or buffalo oh goodness me it is early in the morning anyway I'm going to attach two cows so how do we do that now where on earth have I put my rope let's see my rope my rope there it is okay so to attach the animals to your car right click the animal lead move over to your car right click the car and hitch do you see there's the magic word Hitch. The cloud. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so the large cart is in too poor shape to be dragged by animals. What that's telling us, if I double click on it or examine it, you'll see the quality level is five. So it's either going to be quality level ten or higher before you can attach animals to it. Fantastic that it happened. Gave me the opportunity to show you and explain that. That's why I keep saying it's lovely me making mistakes you will make the same mistakes but at least in these videos I can show you how to deal with them okay let's switch to now Wormpedia I'm not going to go through imping that up improving it to quality level 10 so I can attach the two animals I've shown you how to do it once you've got your quality level high enough what I now need to do is go to Wormpedia to read some of uh, what the information that they say because there's good information about the carts the large car okay so let me just switch over okay so I'm gonna read from Wormpedia now this is what it says about the beauties in front of me the large car a fairly large two-wheeled car designed to be dragged by animals okay so you'll see for the large car as you can see it will be two 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 animals that we use for the wagons it's six animals but we'll get to that that's another episode Okay, carrying on from Wormpedia. A large car is a mobile container. Yeah, see, I ain't even finished going through the containers yet. We'll get there eventually in year whatever. A large car is a mobile container used to transport cargo and players. Oh yeah, we can ride on it and it looks fantastic. And I believe um, someone can ride with you, a friend. Uh, a large car so and players. So yeah, more than one person can ride on it. It has a larger capacity than its smaller counterpart, the small car, and it can be dragged by a player or led by two animals. A large car can have a commander and up to three passengers. So the commander is the person that has made the car, the person responsible for making it. The name see here in the description when I when I uh, when I uh, got examined it, it says the name of the owner is me so therefore I will get the option if I just move over to the car if I right click I get the option to embark as commander and then drive it but also I get, can do the permissions for the car so if I click on Ma manage large car you can see there now that I can first add rainstorm even though she's got her own car, I'll give our allow her to be able to manage it. To, so manage the items that can go in it. I'll allow her to command it. I'll allow her to be passenger. 
I'll allow her to access the contents of it. I'll, I, I will allow her to drag it. If you had all of these filled out for people, just at the end here, it's denial, so it will stop them from doing anything. But, of course, this is our dear Rainstorm, and we want to give her full access. So we apply the changes. There we are. Active permissions. Rainstorm can now do everything with my lovely car. Hopefully she won't trash it. I doubt she will. Okay. You can, so as you can see, you can add everyone. You can add your friends. You can add who you like. If you're in Worm Online, be very careful what you do here. Someone will take it or destroy it. Okay, let's close that. That's enough. I wanted to show you that info. Let's move back to Wormpedia. So, Wormpedia, carrying on. Usage. The cart may be dragged by a player or by animals and can store up to 100 items directly on the bed by using a combination of other containers. This limit may be increased. Oh yeah, boy oh boy can it. We'll have a cauldron in there filled with water. We'll have small rafts in there for all our dirt and rock shards, etc, etc. We'll have a small barrel we'll have small barrels in there for our other little components you know we can go on and on and on but i don't know there's a you can have a lot of items in your large cart carrying on hitching carts may be driven by one animal yes i didn't actually make that point although i told you to hitch two animals because it will then travel much quicker so if you get attacked aggroed as you're traveling across the land you will be able to get away from that aggro quicker with two animals you can just put one animal on there but it will go slowly do not do that unless you have to unless you've only got one animal so can't uh just carrying on Carts may be driven by one animal, however, hitching two will provide a faster pull. All carts need to be of at least 10 quality before animals can be hitched to it or it can be embarked by a player. Very important, there you go, so we need to improve our car up to quality level 10 before we can add animals or ride it, either as a passenger or a driver. Hell horses are said to be fastest of all cart drivers. Oh, I could tell you a funny story about hell horses. A few years ago, when me and were when when me and Rainstorm were on a, a, a server called Independence, I did have a hell horse, but someone killed it because they got very upset with me, and they had every right to get very upset with me because me and Rainstorm had been travelling lots and lots. We were weary, we and tired, we travel for uh, travelling for hours and hours from another server to that server, and so to cut a long story short, we set up camp up a base it near someone's deed not in their deed just near it but it upset them it upset them a great deal and they killed my lovely hell horse it was funny um i won't go no further with that story because it's black humor so we'll steer clear of that okay so there we go cart drivers can hitch lead an animal with a rope and right click on the cart to hitch yeah i've shown you that unhitch one animal one animal, embark the cart as commander, right click that animal and choose unhitch. So it's telling you you have to embark the cart as a commander if you want to remove your animals from the cart. Okay, carrying on. Unhitch both, right click the cart and select animals unhitch. So there we are. So I am presume though you still have to be commanding the cart. Harnesses. Many of Worm's creatures may be harnessed to pull a car or wagon. Below is a complete list in no particular order. So here's a list of all of the animals. Horses, bulls, bison, hell horse, bears and trolls. Now how funny is that? <laughs> we can have trolls pulling the car. I did not know that. Okay, I did not know that. I'm not going to go there. They're tough creatures. I don't want to get you killed. Stick to bisons, they're fantastic. Okay, carrying on. The strength of a creature can prevent it from being hitched. Conditions such as greenish affect their strength. Well, I'm going to get more to that when we get more to the creatures episode, but you get special types of creatures. So you get different types of troll, different types of bear, different types of spider. You'll see when I get to that. Carrying on. Notes. Non-premium players can hitch animals to a cart but not command it. It's talking about Worm Online, don't worry, don't panic, not our beautiful Worm Unlimited. You will be able to do that, I hope. A cart carrying on under notes. A cart cannot be driven over tiles that have a total... 
excuse me, a cart cannot be driven over tiles that have a total slope slope over any two adjacent edges of 40 or more. Yeah, so if a slope's too steep, it's telling you, you won't be able to drive up it. Wow, well, it's just like real life, really. You're not going to try and drive your car up a brick wall, are you? You're going to go around the brick wall. Okay, carrying on. Animal traits and conditions will affect the cart speed. Oh, there's a beautiful thing, but guess what? I'm not going into traits. That beauty is being saved for either the breeding episode or animal husbandry episode, but it is going to be a fantastic episode, whichever one it is. Okay, carrying on. Commander stamina is drained while driving the cart. However, having zero stamina has no effect on the cart movement itself. Oh, interesting. I mentioned earlier that it didn't touch your stamina. Okay, so it drains your stamina, which we all know what that is, but it won't affect you traveling because your cart will still keep moving. So if you uh, try to do something with your stamina drained, you know you, you, you can't do it. You can't walk up a hill, but you don't need to because you're in your cart. Okay, carrying on. Animals remain hitched to carts during server restarts. So, yep, when you log off, close down your server, go to bed, shut your computer down, whatever you do, the next day when you go and log in, your animals will still be attached to your cart. Okay, so there we are. Okay, carrying on on Wormpedia. We're nearly there. Creation. I don't know if I need to read any of this. Let me just quickly look. No, I don't. You can read that on Wormpedia if you wish. Security. The owner and any person with the manage right can modify the use of permi the usage permissions. Well, that's talking about either me, the creator of this cart, or Rainstorm now, because you watched me give her permissions to do the same as me, to manage the cart. So that's what that's talking about. Oh, and it's getting dark, so I really do need to wrap this episode up. So... The owner or any person with managed right can modify the usage permissions through a window available via the right click manage vehicle contacts menu. Yeah, I've shown you that. The permissions control driver embarking as commander, mount embarking as a passenger, access inventory hold of the car and manage these settings. I've gone over that. Each of these rights can be granted or denied to friends, villagers and everyone. The owner will always have all permissions. I've told you that. We've been there. Any player can drag an, a, not a non-hitched car in the wilderness, regardless of whether or not it's locked. Correct deed settings and local security will help prevent carts being dragged away, as will keep animals hitched or having it above the weight possible to be dragged. In Worm Online, there are many trolls, and I'm not talking about the big ugly ones with the clubs. There are many trolls, and they will have get great joy out of dragging your carts, taking your boats, anything that's not locked down, nailed down, it's going to be gone. Okay, but you're in beautiful Worm Unlimited, you possibly won't be suffering none of that. Lastly, from Wormpedia, important. Permissions only take effect when the car is locked with a small or large padlock and anyone can attach one to enable the permissions. So be very careful there. If you finish making a car and you leave it in a public area, someone can come along with a padlock and attach it and thereby lock you out your own car. Be careful. The lock can be removed by anyone in possession of the key, which is the person that of course placed the lock on it. Another player that cannot normally access the car will gain full inventory and drive permissions as if they were added to the settings should they attach a lock. So, oh, that was very important to know. To end this, it's important to lock your car as soon as after creation as possible. So it's telling you there, as soon as you've finished making your car, put a padlock on it because someone else can come along and do that. They will then get ownership of your car in many ways. So. Lastly, is not really relevant because that's on freedom. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, just to wrap up this episode, on Wormpedia, it tells you the items you can load into your large cart and it gives you much more information, which I think um, I will just read 
the last bit under notes from Wormpedia and that's it. The type of wood currently does not affect the texture or colour of the car. The quality of the car affects its decay rate. There is no other bonuses from increasing the quality of carts. Okay, so it just means it will uh, rot, rot slower. The volume of items will affect what fits in the cart. See the container page for, for that information, volume information. Although carts cannot be dragged in water tiles, they can be pushed. I'm repeating myself. Sorry, I know I repeat myself. Okay, carrying on. 26.65 kilograms of dye is needed to paint a large cart. So there you go. If you want to paint it, you'll need that much dye. The maximum weight a player can drag in a large cart is determined by the formula. Oh joy, have a look and you'll see. You know, it's telling you then on Wormpedia the formula. You can read that. Okay, I think that's enough information about the large cart. I don't want to drag it on anymore. It's the most wonderful, beautiful item we've managed to create so far, apart from my beloved coffin. So, it's practical. You can attach the horses. Now you're going to have fantastic fun. You can now start shifting huge amounts of dirt. Up here, where Rainstorm Lesser has been so fantastic at preparing this area, for a future episode for our animal pen although rainstorm my dear it's much too small I want a huge animal pen I want a huge animal pen but hopefully you'll watch this and not get too angry with me for mentioning that thank you for all your hard work rainstorm for getting all that done okay thank you for watching the episode on carts um, thank you for enduring episode one part one and this episode part two I hope you've in have enjoyed it I hope that uh, it's at least shown you one little tip uh, that you didn't know uh, wherever you are in the world God bless you and have a fantastic wonderful day goodbye <laughs>